Today, I wanna to tell you about how you can speak confidently, speak clearly, and speak effectively. That's coming up. Hey everyone, my name is Wes. This is Interactive English, the channel that is just all about trying to help you practice and improve your English skills. And if that is what you would like to do, please subscribe so that you will be notified of future English lessons. And in this lesson, I wanna to talk to you about uh, speaking and really trying to achieve speaking fluency or achieve your speaking goals by really focusing on how you can speak confidently, speak clearly, and speak effectively. So let's begin with just speaking confidently because I think this is something that can be challenged for many learners, that you you want to speak, you want to have a conversation, but maybe you just, you just don't have confidence in your abilities. And what I think you need to do, the most important thing that you can do is just get more practice. You need to continuously practice speaking, practice having different conversations because the more you do that, the more confidence you are going to have in your own abilities. Think about uh, giving a presentation. When you give a presentation, you have to get up there in front of a group of people and, and you have to talk about something. You have to speak. And if you don't have confidence in yourself, in your abilities, then you might think that giving a presentation is just an impossible task, that it's just too difficult. And this is, this is something that can be very challenging. Whenever I would have to give a presentation, I would practice probably about 10 to 15 times. And the more I practiced and I was thinking about, well, what am I gonna say? How am I going to say it? The more confidence I had in my abilities to give a good presentation. And the same goes for having a conversation. The more you practice uh, having a conversation and speaking and you're, you're having a variety of discussions, then you're just going to have more confidence in your abilities to talk about a lot of different things. And before you know it, if you can do that, you will be speaking confidently. It's also important that you speak clearly. Now, when I say speak clearly, I'm not talking about accent. What I'm referring to is mutual intelligibility. And what that means is that People of different English varieties can understand and communicate with each other because there is mutual intelligibility. For example, um, the United States. Uh, English in the United States, that's one variety. English in the United Kingdom, that is another variety of English. But people can understand each other because there's mutual intelligibility. The same goes for English learners. If there is an English learner from France and they're learning English as a second language and there's an English learner from Mexico who is also learning English as a second language, they can communicate and understand one another when there is mutual intelligibility. You understand pronunciation and and you're also aware that the pronunciation of some words may be a little different among different English varieties you also understand intonation and you know if somebody's making a statement or if they're asking a question you understand tone and you can kind of tell if somebody is speaking in a way that they are happy or sad or perhaps even a little upset when you learn those things it's going to help you speak clearly achieve mutual intelligibility so that you can speak english with people from all over the world and as you are practicing and building your speaking confidence and speaking clearly and communicating with others you also want to make sure that you are able to speak effectively as well. And when it comes to speaking effectively, I, I think of this. It's not always about what you say, but how you say it. How you say it means that you are practicing when to emphasize certain words or, or when to pause. That can be very effective. And it's also related to speaking clearly. How you say it refers to sharing your thoughts and opinions and, and getting your point across so people easily understand what you're saying. How you say it means that you are using precise language so people know exactly what you're talking about. How you say it is related to telling a great story and, and you're able to grab people's attention. 
This is what effective speaking is all about. And I really hope that I have grabbed your attention because I want to talk to you about how you can achieve all three of these things, speaking confidently, speaking clearly, and speaking effectively. And the way that you can do that is by enrolling in the interactive English speaking course called Speak Up. This is a 10 week course in which you will take a 50 minute lesson once a week with me. And we are going to talk about a variety of different topics have a lot of discussion in small groups, which will give you more opportunities to speak. And there's also going to be a lot of different speaking activities as well. In addition, there will be weekly pronunciation video lessons that will help you speak clearly because you're going to learn about pronouncing difficult sounds in English. You'll learn about connected speech, minimal pairs, and more. So the goal of this course is to help you do the three things that we just talked about. Get a lot of speaking practice so that you can build your confidence learn more about pronunciation so that you can speak clearly and also learn how to say things so that you are speaking effectively. And because I truly appreciate that you are learning English with me here at Interactive English, you can use the voucher code SPEAKUP10 to get a 10% discount off the course. Click on the link in the description if you would like to learn more about class times, how much the course cost, as well as more information about the course in general. Click on that link in the description, and I just hope to speak to you real soon. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.